Leaves are the lifeblood of making soil for our homestead, and we have a lot of them here on our eight acre property, and this just isn't cutting it anymore. And that's why I got one of these. This is an AgriFab Mowin Vac Leaf and Lawn Vacuum. I'm gonna show you how to put it together, and then I'm gonna show you our first use out on our property. Let's get going. In doing research on this, I saw that a lot of the older models had a bungee that went around the side. There's already an improvement to this one, and that's these little latches that keep this back dump door uh, secured to the body itself. So let's show you everything that we just pulled out of the dump trailer itself. We've got our Briggs & Stratton engine. This is the XR, five horsepower, and it has the impeller attached along with the hose adapter on it. We've got the front and rear tongue with the latches on it. There's the axle. There is our latch stand bracket. We've got our hose, hanger rod. We've got the wheel support assembly, the wheels. Over here we have the mower deck adapter that it comes with. We have the chute that goes from the impeller up into the actual uh, dump trailer itself. We've got the hose that goes from our adapter to our impeller. We've got our adapter bracket. We've got our attachment bracket. We've got other parts and pieces, everything we need, some giant hose clamps, and some templates for our adapter to attach to our mower deck. First thing you need to do is attach the latch stand bracket to these top four carriage bolts right here. All the carriage bolts needed to attach everything are already set in place. And we need to do this so this little catch here is oriented to the downside. And this little depression is oriented toward the top side. And then we have an additional eight carriage bolts that are already in place here for our wheel assembly or wheel support. When you put on this wheel support, these three holes need to go in the upper direction. Now I do need to mention that when you tip this on its side, your chute entry is at the top and your door is at the bottom. You've got nylock nuts and washers for every connection. Now because of the lip in the metal, the two washers actually go underneath the bracket to act as a shim to make it level and flat with that lip. Once you're done with that, you're gonna take your rear tongue and your axle, you're gonna feed the axle through the holes on your wheel support and the rear tongue, and then you're gonna latch this in place on the front support. Now let's get the wheels on. For the wheels, it's pretty easy. You're gonna put in this spacer, a one inch washer, your wheel assembly, another one inch washer on the outside, and then a cotter pin in there. Cotter pin goes in the end and just bend it up. So before you roll this anywhere, you wanna grease these. And what's nice about these wheels and this assembly is the hub comes with a grease fitting. So you wanna fill that full of grease until it's squirting out the sides. And where the axle goes through the wheel support, you wanna grease wherever it contacts the metal. It's probably gonna squeak over time just the way this is designed, but just continually grease it and it should be good. Now we're gonna put the front tongue onto the rear tongue. There's two sets of holes on either, so we're just gonna line those up. In the back, we're gonna use the long bolt, put a washer on one side, through the entire piece. Here on the front, we're gonna thread through these bolts, and we've got the inconvenience of trying to thread the washer on the inside. Now it's time to mount our engine impeller assembly onto the tongue. There's some bolts that come up through the bottom of the tongue to secure it. It's not that heavy. You can lift it pretty easily onto the tongue. On pretty much every mower, your discharge chute on your mower deck is to the right. So make sure this faces the correct direction on your tongue. It's a tad unstable up here, so make sure you hang on to it. Just get one started and that will hold it. Once we have the engine and impeller mounted, 
we're gonna put on our impeller chute and it needs to align with the opening that's on the cart itself. So if it's not aligned, you're gonna to have to move your engine assembly left or right a little bit and it's got some play in it to be able to do that. Then attach everything with the self-tapping bolts and nylon washers. These are half inch. The last few things in the main assembly here are to put the hose support in and that just sits down in there like that. We're gonna put our hose clamp on our hose and attach our hose to the impeller. Hose adapter here, it looks like it can take the six inch hose that comes with the kit or an eight inch hose. So if you wanna upgrade the size of your hose, you can. There is also space for a special cutoff switch that goes down here. So if you take off this adapter here, you cannot start the engine with that. But on this model, it doesn't come with it. It also comes with this bungee strap to help secure the hose on the side and hold it at the right angle for a good flow of leaves into the impeller. Okay, now we need to fill our engine with fluids. We need some 5W30 oil, and I'm not sure how much because I can't find that in the instructions, but we'll figure it out. Fill it full of gas and we're gonna test start it. Then we need to cut the adapter and maybe even cut the length of the hose for our mower deck. Now it's really cool in the package that you got all of these templates. There's probably 15 templates here for your adapters for your mower deck. However, none of them fit my mower. So I am gonna to have to make some modifications and some custom pieces for that to fit on my mower. I have a Toro Titan Max 60 inch. If you haven't seen any of my videos on the Toro Titan Max, click at the top of the screen. Most of these adapter templates are for John Deere's or Cub Cadets, some Husqvarna's, and oddly, Sears. Sears doesn't even make tractors anymore, so it's for old tractors or old lawnmowers. But anything like a Hustler, a Bad Boy, an Xmark, or a Toro, it's not gonna be in here. Now it's time to fit our adapter to our mower deck. Now we did an entire video, which you can check out at the top of the screen, on how to fit one of these AgriFab adapters to a mower deck. That mower deck was our old Xmark mower. This is our Toro mower, it has a completely different deck. The Moen Vac comes with these five different brackets to help you try to fit the adapter to your deck, but none of them will work with this deck. But on this deck, it's nice. We have holes here and here and here, and I think that's going to be enough for us to actually bolt this just directly to the side. If it isn't, I've got where the chute connects up here and I can use this piece of perforated flat channel to make some sort of bracket to be able to hold on here and hold on to the top of the adapter. But to start, we're just gonna measure our opening and cut the hole for that. You can use a grease pencil or a white crayon. Either one will work fine. Once you have the basics marked out, you need to cut it out. So you can do that one of two ways. You can use a Dremel or Roto-Zip, whatever. You can use a drill and then cut out the rest of it with a jigsaw, whatever works easiest for you. But I do recommend cutting inside of the line so you have more material to work with just in case you make a mistake. When you cut out this square for the opening on your mower deck, you are probably going to have to cut a half moon shape out of the bottom about two inches in. And that's because this plastic will warp in. Once that support of the side is gone, it's gonna kind of curl up. So you're gonna have to cut that back just a bit. And also depending on the design of your mower deck, your blade could come outside of the edge of your mower deck, like on the X mark. On the Toro, it doesn't, so I don't have to worry about that. I've marked where the first two holes are on here. I'm gonna drill those out and attach things onto the deck first with these short bolts. Now make sure you've got some pretty decent washers to hold that on there so the plastic doesn't wear out if it bounces around a lot. Once I do that, I'm gonna then mark the back hole, drill for that, and then attach the whole thing and see if I need any extra support on it. All right, everything is hooked up. We got the adapter on, we got the hose connected, we've got the engine full of fluids, and let me show you what we did in the back. 
So it was highly recommended that you wax the bottom of the trailer and that's so when it gets so stuffed full of leaves, things can slide out easier. I didn't have any wax, but I had some rain -X. So I don't know if that's gonna work, but it might. If not, I'll have to get some paste wax and redo the bottom. Let's get the back door on and go test it out. I gotta mention too that after I put the fluids in, I pulled it one time and it started perfectly. So that's pretty impressive. First thing we're gonna do is go through an area of really light leaves. And then the second test is we're gonna take it through an area where there's really thick leaves and see how it does on both areas. So first impressions, not bad. It went through this area of thick leaves without any trouble at all, and it picked up a lot. It didn't pick up everything, but we had a rain three days ago, so there are a lot of wet leaves still underneath. I did have the PTO engaged on the mower to help pull things up off the ground. That suction through that small hose in that one spot is not gonna do it, so you need to have the PTO engaged. And it did a pretty good job. Let's see what we collected in the back. Well, it really pulverized it. We just have the regular blades, not the mulching blades on our mower deck. And things are really small, so that impeller took care of the rest of it. Stick around on the channel because in the next week, I'm gonna be putting up a video that talks about my absolute horrendous, horrendous experience with DR Power and their leaf vacuum. So if you don't wanna miss that, subscribe and hit the notifications bell. From the initial startup and the initial test, this looks like it's going to be a great tool for our homestead. Now go click on this playlist right here, which is our full playlist on how to use leaves and how valuable they are to your homestead. Have a beautiful blessed day. We'll see you next time. Bye.